This is the 2024 Inu Nation Winnipeg Expedition, and we're currently exploring the Inu Marine Zone. The Winnipeg Expedition has two main functions. It's to collect valuable marine ocean science data throughout both of the Inu Nation Marine Zones, in Shejid and Natwashish. And the other part of it is to build capacity amongst young people in the communities and hopefully present pathways for them to work in their communities in ocean science and even work with the guardians. This expedition gives you the opportunity to think about your future career choices and to have this opportunity for the youth, I find it gives them that first step to think about moving ahead with their career opportunities or to think about other choices and in, in what they want to do. You found a feeding spot. This is lunch. <laughs> We see this expedition as a platform for youth to be involved in some of the conservation efforts that are happening at Inu Nation. This expedition, you know, I think it's really valuable to see what's out there, you know, what's under the water that we can't see, uh, you know, what, what's going on and make educated decisions for the future of this area. Um, soft curls. This is a, a stepping ground for them to better educate themselves for not just within the Inu culture, but also within the Western culture as well. So if you learn from both cultures, it makes it much, much more stronger to educate other people what you're doing to your own community. I've never been part of an expedition like this before, and I think it provides a really good model for how Western science and indigenous communities can collaborate on research questions that are really relevant and important to Indigenous communities. Put your strong muscles into it. <laughs> all the places that we visit on the expedition, the inshore places, are all informed by local knowledge first and then the science comes after. We're able to mount an interdisciplinary research team with our partners and have Inu youth along with Inu community members out here as well. So to have youth come and work with people that have this real passion about what they do helps young people to understand, you know, what's out there. What are the opportunities that they have in the world? And what are the skills that they can develop and then bring back to their nation? Right now, there is not a lot known about the Inu Marine Zone. So it's pretty awesome being able to bring together researchers from all over Canada, Inu Guardians, community members, to create a better picture of what our Marine Zone looks like, while also being able to include youth in it. I didn't really like science when I was in high school. But now that I came on this expedition, I, I like science and I actually want to do it. <laughs> we not only get to learn about our land, we get to learn about the waters and what's underwater. And it's really amazing what we can see and find underwater in our land. I'd say that we're Pretty blessed to have these opportunity to learn about the sea and the land. I really, really hope they continue doing this expedition because it's a great experience for the youth in the future. So they can learn whatever they need in the water or on the land. It was one of the best experiences that I would have done. And this expedition means a lot to me. This community is something that really grew on me. It's, it's basically like a family.